ebook that I use. And so while I was doing it, I said, you know what? I might as well go ahead and make this available to all of my BPC members, as well as those of you guys watching right now. So all of my authors, future authors, entrepreneurs, this training is for you. y'all so let's go ahead and get into this um this is actually not about selling more books from home so let me make sure we create the update this how to create your ebook all right so how to create your ebook is what we're going to be talking about here and good morning good morning good morning to everybody uh we are broadcasting this live and this replay is going to be available uh guys for those of you uh watching this it's going to be available in the book profits club in fact i may keep this live everywhere but for those of you who want to make sure that you do stay up to date on anything that is taking place within uh book profits club for all of my authors entrepreneurs uh make sure that you do this as well hold on let me just add this real quick you want to text get the bag to 484848 get the bag to 484848 and make sure hold on let me get y'all let me get it right so y'all can see it and everything you know what I'm saying make sure that when you send that text message um that guys you don't want to um put any spaces and get the bag so get the bag it's all one word and then 484848 I don't even know what I got on the auto reply but right now that'll put you on the list because I'm doing another broadcast today uh, for those of you watching the broadcast so anyways on this training we're going to go ahead and get straight into it i was in the process of redoing my ebook on six reasons why you should write a book which is one of the ebooks that i give away uh, to people that actually join my list for people who connect with me through my masterclass of book in 30 days.com um, i understand that people have different ways of learning some people like to read some people like to listen some people like to watch and so i try to do my best to cover all bases of the different styles of learning and one of those is an ebook now before i get into this okay just want you guys to know if you ever hear me talking about an ebook nine times out of ten i am not talking about your physical book okay so your physical book this is my physical book right here a six-figure vision um this is oh jesus lord this is my physical book a six-figure vision right here okay you'll never hear me referring to this as an ebook okay i actually don't even have this on ebook format okay my physical book i use this physical book to all of my authors out there as a tool all right, so this is what I use when I'm speaking, when I'm looking to get in front of people. Hello, 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 hello. How do I try? I gotta turn this, this noise off. That little pop is getting on my nerves. Hold on, let me see if I can turn that off. If I can't, I'm sure I can because I turned it off before, but I just don't know how to do it right now. Uh, but anyways, we'll just leave the pop on there. I'll get used to it. Okay, so anyways, with that stated, um, what I was saying is that you'll never hear me talk about my book book as an ebook. Many of you guys want to write your books and you want to put it on to ebook format. That's a whole nother training. Whenever I talk about, and that's a whole nother training on as to if you should or should not. Um, but whenever you hear me talking about an ebook, nine times out of 10, I'm talking about what I like to call your hook item. Now, for those of you who are in Book Profits Club, you already should have access where I teach you about building your success funnel. Every single one of my speakers and coaches and authors out there need to have a success funnel. One of the biggest challenges that you guys are going to have is learning to focus on one result, one business, one thing. The truth is that when you learn to focus on one result, you can actually turn that one result into multiple streams of income. So a lot of times y'all be putting words in my mouth, honey. Y'all be out here talking about Taria told me to get to multiple streams of income. I did not tell you to start multiple businesses. I said multiple streams. And when you are building the right business, you can build multiple streams, all right? Now, with that stated, sometimes there's different things that you need to have in order to bring people into your success funnel. And those are like free giveaways, whether it's a free webinar, a free conference call, free workshop. But for this one is an ebook. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit 
um, of this ebook that I am working on. Okay, and hello to everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Elisa. Hey, Robin. Hello, J Jay. How are you guys doing? Um, so this is the hook item giveaway that I'm talking about that we're about to create. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull up my screen. So just so you guys know, this is how I realized that my ebook, first of all, that it needed some sprucing up. So I have two ebooks um, when you join my list, and this is from my email list campaign. I'm not going to go into all of that right now. Uh, but as you can see, I have this one, six reasons why you should write another book and then five ways to market your book, right? Six reasons why you should write a book and then five ways to market your book. Now, this is the ebook right here that currently needs to be updated. So what happened was somehow or another, the link that I have connected to this, it was no longer working. And so I kept getting emails that, hey, I couldn't download the ebook, da 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 And so I said, okay, well, let me figure this out. Now, mind you, this is not a long ebook. This is just a, you know, straight to the point, simple information to give that person some idea of who I am and how to, you know, and, and some, you know, some learning so that they can move to the next step. So when I went to go look at the ebook, this is what the old ebook looks, looks like right here, okay? Now this, I created this ebook some years ago. I didn't design it. I believe I hired someone to do it for me. Um, and I don't know. It's just, this thing is not cute. Mm -mm. No, we won't. No, we won't. No, you won't have me looking like this. And then another thing is I no longer am going to be doing strategy sessions anymore. So I need to change that as well. That was when I would do a one hour coaching session. And my one hour coaching session is $197 uh, as of uh, this uh, particular video. As you guys are watching this video, I'm no longer doing one hour strategy sessions anymore. So I need to update all of this stuff, right? So I was going to go ahead and start working on it. And then like I thought, I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and uh, teach y'all how to do it as well. Okay, so you guys are very welcome. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. So what I'm using is Canva, all right? Now, I don't know if you guys have ever used Canva before, but Canva is the bomb.com. Okay, Canva is the bomb.com. How many of you guys have ever heard of Canva? If you've heard of Canva, just say I have. Um, so I use Canva for a lot of stuff. Um, the only thing that I do not use Canva for is for when my clients are getting book covers made. I do not use cover. Um, I do not design book covers or my team does not design covers in Canva uh, because we just need to be able to use Photoshop for certain reasons. Um, we also do not use Canva for like the pre-sell flyers, uh, but we do use Canva for like the uh, flyers where we announce like how many pre-order supporters and stuff like that. Um, I use Canva for a lot of things, but... Anyways, when you go to Canva, I don't know if you guys know this, but they do have a section for magazines, okay? So you can literally go through here, and the reason why we're using the magazine looks is because it has all these different layouts and looks, right? Because when you're creating your ebook, it's going to be like an eight and a half by 11 type style. And so you can just type in the search space magazines, and this is what's gonna pull up, as you can see. Uh -oh. Hold on a sec. Okay, so as you can see, As you can see in the, I gotta turn my phones. All my phones are connected. Ugh. Okay, so as you can see, you'll have all these different designs uh, that'll pop in um, when you search magazines, right? Um, now, you when you create your ebook, like this one right here, it's an eight and a half by 11 ebook. You're not gonna resize it or any of that, okay? As you can see, right? So it's a real simple eight and a half by 11. And so I am going to get something, as a matter of fact, no, I think I did this myself and I used a uh, PowerPoint because uh, this looks like a PowerPoint, these PowerPoint lines on the side. So anyways, I ended up selecting this particular ebook right here, the one that says journey. So if you click on it, you'll open it up or a magazine. Um, if you click on it, hello everybody, how are you doing? Um, if you click on it, you'll see this is what it looks like. So it already has all the different pages inserted. Um, now, I'm not going to use all of the pages, uh, but what I did was for the first page, this home page, I updated that, um, and then I removed this table of contents. I really didn't want that in there, so let me just kind of show you. So right here, you can just hover over anything. I deleted these items right here, and then I wanted to have some books. So all I did was go over here to uh, photos, and then I searched books. And you can drag and drop 
any of these styles of books, right? So whatever your, your topic is on. Now I have a pro account with, uh, with Canva, which is a small monthly fee. I use it so much, it is absolutely worth it. So anyway, so let's just say I wanted to drop, drag and drop, and you can hover right over top of that image and it'll drop it in. I'm gonna double click, and this will actually allow me to move it a little bit over so I can have a little bit more of the book in there. And so you see, and then if my, I wanna change the title, six steps to dot, 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 whatever the title might be. Um, and then you can do all that. Now I'm gonna go into my official document that I'm using right now. So you guys can actually see what I've been doing. Um, and I'm literally going to take this content from the old one and put it over into the new one. Now, what I would recommend is when you are creating your ebook, let me just give you some tips. Again, your ebook, as you can see, this is nine pages. This is something that I'm giving away for free. Now, there are some people who create ebooks and they sell them, which you can also do. You can sell your ebooks for the low, low, like $5.99. Me, I'm just telling you, I've never sold an ebook. I've always given them away for free, but it is your choice if you want to do that, okay? I like to use this as a way to just give some good value in exchange for being valued. Does that make sense, right? Okay, so anyway, so we have our ebook. So for this ebook, my ebook is six reasons why every business owner should write a book. Now, I don't know what it is that your results are that you provide. Many of the biggest challenges that many of speakers and coaches that I come across is they're not being specific enough and they're not being niched enough, right? It, I'm just telling you guys, uh, the, the key here in having success is you gotta niche it on down to a specific cause and a specific result, right? So whatever that may be for you. And I generally like to use simple numbers. Now, this one is six reasons. I think I'm gonna go ahead and change this one though from six to seven reasons. Um, only because I just like the number seven better than six. Uh, I like the number seven. I like the number 10. I like 12 and 21, right? Those are like some of my favorite numbers to use for different things. Um, and so I'm going to change it to seven reasons why. So let's just say, I don't really know exactly what I want to say. I can go to Google and put in seven reasons why you should write a book and see what other people are talking about and look and, and um and then what i do is i just choose the one that i can personally relate to and make that one of the reasons right so uh now they have all these different ones and and i'll come back to this in a minute but i just want you guys to see this is how i'm able to come up with the content and with, for an ebook, I don't make it long, okay? It doesn't need to be super long. A large majority of people that get the ebook won't even read it. I, you know how I know, because many of y'all got ebooks that y'all ain't read. Y'all done downloaded these ebooks and did not read them. The purpose of it is for the people who do read it. Some people will open it up, skim through it. Some people will eventually look through it, but you definitely want to be able to have something of a you know giveaway item that you can give to people. Hello, Tony, how you doing? Okay. So anyway, so as you can see, I already have my six reasons. One is it's better than a business card. It builds credibility. It helps to market your business. It can win you business, leaves a legacy, can make you multiple streams of income, and then the conclusion. And so I still need to add just one more, right? All right, so let me show you mine. So this is what I've been working on so far. So as you can see, I did a couple of updates to that original cover. I added in this image, then I moved it over created a title and made it big and then just add a, a little white square behind it so it was easy to read, right? Um, by Taria Avant. I'm gonna change this to seven. And I'm also gonna change the color to like a red. I also would like to add in my Book Profits Club logo, which I have over here in images. Where is it at? I just saw it. it's down here so let me just go down here here we go so uh, dang we we could literally do a whole training on and i may just do something for book profits club members because we could do a whole training on all the stuff you can do on canva like removing backgrounds a lot of times like you see this image right here i put it in here so that i can remove her background and then i sent it to my designer 
um because it just makes it was just much faster to do it that way instead of them going and photoshop and removing the image the background like i don't know canva is the bomb.com okay so anyway so you see so this is the top this is the cover page um maybe i might want to change this a little bit too this background to like a little gray or something no to this red yeah and i'll change this to white boom there we go and then we make this a little bold i'll make it bold calling all coaches i got and twice calling all speakers i want speakers and coaches to be on one line there we go let me space this out just a little bit and guys i'm gonna tell you uh a lot of times people get a headache with using Canva if they're not really into designing. Um, the truth is, y'all, I always tell people, like, don't get caught up on Canva trying to figure out stuff for hours and hours. But if you do want to learn Canva, you know, spend, you know, an hour at max playing with it. But don't let yourself get caught up on Canva for hours and nothing has gotten accomplished. Also, just so that y'all know, while I do know how to design a lot of stuff, a lot of the stuff that we have, I still have people who do it for me. So I still have designers who do stuff for me. Does, but this ebook is just a one-time deal, so I can go ahead and, um, you know, do it myself, right? So anyway, so this is the second page um, of it. And so it says, congratulations, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and change this to, the, to like a red. Or maybe I'll use the gold of the logo. Only thing I wish they had that they don't have yet is like a feature to make a shadow, right? Um, so anyway, so congratulations, let's get started. And then I have the introduction of the ebook, which is here. And then I have, so as y'all can see, this was the introduction, the initial introduction. Well, congratulations, da 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 right? So that's what's right here. And I've gone in and I actually updated some of the stuff because it doesn't, some of the stuff needed some updating, and then of course seven reasons why we need to update that. As you see, I also like to bold out certain things that I want to pop, um, and then we're gonna go into the first reason. So reason number one is it's better than a business card, right? So all I did was just copy this. Now many of you guys, you're gonna start off and you're gonna create your content first in Word, okay? I use you know, Word or Docs or something, Google Docs, you want to create your content there first and then translate it over. But I'm just using this. I don't know where the actual Word document was when I created it. I did this years ago. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this content here. Okay. So first things first is I put it's better than a business card. So I went in and this was already a design that was there. Right. As you can see. Right. Um, this was a design that was there. So I just changed this. So let me... Um, you see, I like to do a little colors. I'll go in and do the aesthetics later. But anyway, so it's better than a business card. So here's the first one. And then I have a second paragraph on this uh, ebook that I need to update. Let's be honest, business cards can really just be a waste of space. Now, this is my own personal opinion. This is not, I'm not up here to debate with nobody about what y'all think about business cards. So if y'all like business cards, y'all like them. That's fine. Ain't nobody telling you what to do. But this is my ebook, so I just wanted to let y'all know. Because every time I talk about business cards, I always get somebody in my inbox telling me about what business cards do for them. This is my personal opinion. And I think that... When you, when you decide to go into the coaching space, guys, the reason why people need coaches is because they, you know, they're doing stuff the way they're doing it. And so people are not supposed to agree with you. If you did, then you wouldn't need a coach. So, you know, I just wanted to throw that in. Y'all know me. I always got to throw my little side jazz in. Okay, so anyway, so if you notice, though, when you use a ebook, though, it messes up, like, the formatting. That's why I'm always telling people. Stop sending us content in ebook. Like we'll ask somebody to send their, their bio. And do you see what happens when you send somebody your e your bio and then you save it as an ebook? I don't know why. Or I mean as a PDF file. You see, you mess it up. So when you're when somebody asks you for content, do not send it to them if they need to use it in a PDF. Oh, but yeah, just that was great. That was a great reason to um pull that up there so y'all can see. But you see, this takes time. Now I got to go in here and do all of this. And I know I I'm not doing that for no long bios. Like, that's just too much, right? But anyways, I can do it real quick. 
And then I'm probably gonna look at the content again just to make sure that it's still something valid. Um, Y'all know I do not print business cards. I use my book. If it's somebody that's worthy of getting a copy of the book, that's what they get. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, actually, I'm gonna, this one will do. Cause I wanna have a little bit more space and I don't know, I might wanna put something right here. So for this, these two images that we have, I'm going to move it down just a bit. Here we go. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and format this. Also, me personally, I like justified formatting. Some people don't, um, but I do. So I always, for the most part, do stuff in justified. So you see that's where it's aligned on left and right, as you can see. Right, you see, so it's like a box. It looks, but if it's not justified, sometimes people like it left aligned. That's left aligned, so it, it has the spaces. I don't like that, so I don't mind if sometimes in the text it's like a little bit extra spacing. So you see, like this, this is extra spacing. So sometimes people say my stuff is spaced wrong. It's probably because it's just the line, and to me, it just looks so much more cleaner. All right, so let's be honest. Business cards can really be a waste of space. Every now and then, I'm just I'm gonna um, hold that out. I like that because it's very controversial, especially to the person who lives and dies by a business card. Every now and then, um, now and then, yes, you might be. A, by the way, a great coach is one who consciously interrupts your subconscious thinking or even conscious thinking. That's a good coach. One who goes against what it is that you've always thought was right. That's, that's the sign of a good coach because a coach is not afraid to be controversial. So I just want to throw that in. Every now and then, yes, you might be able to get a lead from passing your card out. But one, one thing that I, know, that I do, do know that will leave a forever lasting impression is the fact that you are an author. One thing that I have used more than anything is a book to get me in front of influential people. I'm going to bold that out. Okay, and so anyway, so I'm going to go through the rest of this and Okay, okay, so I'm going to do like that Right And then what I'm going to do let me just kind of Now I'm going to center this there we go. And I need to add some Id images right here, right? So guess what I'll do? I'm gonna I'm over here in the books area. So I still like, you know, wanna add in the books. So I'm gonna do, ooh, I'm gonna do this one right here. Drop that in there, okay? And then I'm going to search, actually let me add, Something that go well, I don't know what I want to put right there. And then I'm gonna search business card and see if they have like a business card image. Um, let's see. I'm gonna click that. There we go. Okay. I need, I, I realized though, I think I need to, um, okay. So let's see here. So I'm going to click here and go ahead and click on effects to remove the background. This is where I was telling you that it can remove backgrounds. Like it's amazing. Okay. You see, it just removed the background. Them look like playing cards. That is not what I'm looking for. Okay, let's do Let's use this image and see if we can remove the background Okay Effects remove background the, Now remember you have in order to have this remove background thing you need to have a, a premium account, I believe. 
So we're gonna move her on down. Now I'm not gonna drag and drop because if I drag and drop, it's gonna try to drop it inside. So we're gonna do that. Okay. Move it up a little bit so it's aligned. And then I'm going to look for an element, an X. Bow. And guess what we're going to do with that X? We're going to resize it. Matter of fact, hold on, let me do one more thing. Business card. Let me. Okay, are y'all here still? Is this good? I don't want to bore y'all. Business card. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move this. I'm going to change the position and move this forward and draw and draw and just inch it down a little bit. I don't need no business card. We don't need. Boom, you see that? Fire, and then we're gonna go and fix this little bottom part right here to, let's say we want that to be like a little background or something, black background. Let me remove this right here. Okay, you guys are good? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so you see the little back backgrounds? Yes, honey, you can find backgrounds on this mug. I'm just gonna drag and drop that one there. Mm-hmm. Yes, so we're done with number one. Number number one. <laughs> now we gotta go to number two. Okay, so let's see what's number two. Number two is uh, it builds credibility. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. See, you see, some of this stuff is old because now uh, it's a it's a six figure vision. So we're gonna go back over here. And we need to add in a new page, right? So we're gonna go here to templates, see what they got for the templates. If I wanna use any of these, I, I don't really want to use any of these. So what I can do is, I'm just gonna create a new empty page. I want this to be my last page, so I do like that page. So I'm gonna make a new page and just move it on up. And then what I'm gonna do is go over here to the text and see some of these text features if I like anything that they got over here in the text. Oh, this is kind of fly. Let me use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this little text feature right here, over here. Very nice. Now, it is a group, okay? And so in order for me to properly edit it the way that I want to, I am going to ungroup some of this stuff, okay? So I'm gonna go over here and click on ungroup. <laughs> you remember when I first did this ebook? Girl, right, that ebook is old, years old. Okay, so anyways, I just removed the rest of that. And remember, I went and copied this content already, right? And I'm going to go ahead and use this. I don't want it all caps. Go ahead and paste in that text that I just put in. All right. Now, what, wait, I'm about, to make, I'm about to make it look right, though. Okay, so just don't worry. I got you. Got you like I got you. Let me see. The font that we're using is, I want to keep the font unit uh, the same. Unison. That work. Unisom. Oh my God, this thing is tripping. Y'all, oh, sorry, my computer is starting to go slow. I'm about to take it to the uh, people so I can add more memory in there. All right. So, anyways, remember I like just um just the line, okay. So then we just need to, oh, and the font is a little bit too big. 
So 14, there we go. That don't look the same. Open since, okay, 12. I like to keep my fonts looking the same. We ain't trying to do, do the most. Some of y'all also, when you create these eBooks, this is not the time to get fancy with your fonts. Make it easy to read. Book's the same, okay? Make it easy to read. I know we want to be fancy. Some of us like to be real fancy, but nobody reading that. But if it's too much, if it's too hard to read, they're not going to read it, right? That's not the point of creating these eBooks for people not to read them. Yes, we want them to read them, okay? All right. So let me go add the other text right here. Okay. And I'm sure this stuff is going to need to be updated, but we'll see. Okay. All right, so when you are an author, it instantly gives you credibility. You have real life examples of how this is so true. In fact, when I wrote A Vision to Freedom, How to Live the Life of Your Dreams, I was offered an opportunity to speak many, many events um, on topics found within the book. The book, book has since the book name, the title of the book, was changed in 2019 to a six-figure vision in which you are welcome to get a free copy. I'll spill the deets later. Before, however, before then, okay, so here we go, so you see? So, da, da 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 and then titles, we always bold those out. You always bold out titles, and I italicize them as well for titles, okay? Okay, and then depression, seven ways to live and let go. Y'all know I talk about this all the time. I was able to speak on the panel of doctors. The truth is, doctors, I had no... no clue what many of them were talking about but i was on the panel because i wrote the book okay all right when you're an author people see you as an authority figure in the industry you speak on i'll never I, i'll never i've never been ever asked how long i've been goal setting what's crazy is and I'll just, you know what I'm saying, what's crazy is I've never been asked how long I've been goal setting or coaching on speaking. The fact that I have a book has really put me in a position where no one questions what I speak on. The fact that I wrote about it, then I know about it. It is an incredible, instant credibility builder. Now, what I will say is make sure that you do know how you do know what you wrote about lol because hopefully you will then be offered an opportunity to speak of that of what you've written about all right yes so now we just need to add the title okay y'all ready i'm about to freak this up real quick this still do not look like that so let me see something line height is 1.28 make sure my line height is right over here too And then the lettering is negative 20. That's why the spacing is crazy. There we go. That looks better. I'm not going to do the negative 20, though. We don't need to. So anyway, so we're going to do this. So I'm going to drag this down, right? And we're going to put... Uh, the title, which is It Builds Your Credibility. Now, I'm not going to go through each one of these pages, but I'm going to show you the next portion of what you need to do. Okay, so let's go here to titles. Let's see. Now, you can always go up here and just select this, but let's say you like 
some of these titles. Now, when I say font, fancy font, a title, as long as it's legible, is okay. Um, so I'm going to use this one right here. Um, but I wouldn't have the whole entire font be this kind of, you know, of the text be this font, right? So we're going to use that once it decides to actually come on to the screen, because of course my computer's running slow. Here we go. Move it up. And did, we, did I copy the title? I think I did. That's okay. Okay, so we have we don't want this new year, right? Well, we might. Let's see. Case. It builds. I'm going to cut the your credibility and put right here. Ooh. Yes. That look good, right? Now, we want to have some books in the back, okay? So I'm going to go over here to photos. I'm going to search for books. And what we gonna do, we gonna drag them books on the back. Now, if you try to drag it in and it don't pop in there, you can always just drag it and then resize it. But you see it popped in. Now look, it, it's, it, this little uh, frame is not white. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go over here to elements, close that out. I'm gonna go here to shapes, click on the square. I'm gonna turn it white, cause I want it white. And we're going to go over and resize it. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we're going to move this baby back. Uh, to the back. Yes, that looks good. Ooh. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, copy that. And we're going to drag this down. So I keep on making sure that the Book Profits Club logo, we want that to be visible. And that's our main program. And that's the logo that you guys are going to start seeing everywhere, right? So Book Profits Club, of course, Book Profits Club is still owned by Show Your Success, which is the logo, which is really the design company that designs like the covers and stuff like that. So many of you, if you got your covers, you'll see Show Your Success on the logo. But yes, honey, we are fresh. Matter of fact, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Bow. Listen, so that's number two. So then we're going to go and create number three, number four, and seven, right? So we're going to create seven, right? At the end, when you create an ebook, there needs to be a call to action, okay? Right? This update look, yeah, look at this, look at this, look at this, and look at that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This look real professional. This, this look janky. And upgrade them things right so the last let's just go to the last screen because I want to make sure now the reason again for creating this ebook is of course to get that person to ultimately your ultimate goal for every hook item that you give away is to get that person to be a part of your program by your product your service if they are assigned if they need what it is that you have they'll do it my number one actionable step that I want most people to take is to schedule a one-on-one -on -one session. If you sell high ticket items, by the way, how many of you guys sell high ticket items? And this is a, a product that is over the price of $997. Now, some of y'all are maybe at $497 or $697, right? So you're getting there. But anything like over $997, uh, for me, it's now at the point a high ticket item is really kind of classified as like a $3,000 and above. For those types of programs or even, a, you know, $2,000, that's a high ticket item. Many people are not just going to buy that from you because you say, this is the price, go get started, click on the link. Unless you have built a long reputation with this particular result. 
One of your biggest challenges that most of you guys are going to have is that you're so busy being wishy-washy on your results. Can I be honest here? You always, you, you teach people how to do this. Then I teach them how to do that. Then I teach them how to do this. Many people are not going to be comfortable spending high money with you, okay? So you've got to hone in on that one result and become the expert in that space. If I could be very transparent, all right? Now, with that stated, when you're doing these ebooks, your goal, especially if it's a high ticket item, to ultimately get them on a one-on-one -on -one discovery session, info session, whatever you want to call it. A discovery session is a 15 minute call. It's not a coaching session. You're not giving that person how to tips. You're literally identifying if they are a good fit for what it is that you offer. So my, co my call to action is not going to be to do a strategy session. My call to action is going to be to do a discovery session. Okay. Does that make sense? So I'm going to go ahead and, um, do this. What's next? We'll just pretend that everything is done, right? So what's next? Okay. And we're going to move you up. All right. And then we're going to take this text and we're going to uh, paste. Well, we're going to uh, paste it in there from the conclusion. I'm going to click right here to remove the uppercase. So it's not all uppercase text. Uh-oh, I didn't do it. So let's go in there and there we go. And then we're going to also turn off the bold font. Okay. All right. And then we're going to space it. Now, I don't know, we might, you know, it might take me a little bit of time to remove all the space. And again, this goes back to why we always stress, make sure you're sending your, your documents that you want to be able to be edited in Word and not PDF. So I could have went and tried to go find the original one because I know I have it in Word somewhere, but we ain't gonna do all that today, right? So anyway, so in this conclusion, this is where I'm gonna give them the final steps and I'm going to tell them to do what? Has anybody figured out what I'm going to tell them to do just based on what I said? Anybody want to guess on what we're going to do while we're fixing this thing up? Y'all want to make, the, the key guys is to make things easy for you right and so i have a whole system a, i don't care who you are y'all you could be my cousin my sister my best friend that i talk to on the phone every day i treat all clients the same and that's another thing about us that we've got to get better at doing is not not um we don't need to give no just because they family or friends we got to stop doing that y'all you want people to take you serious we have to make sure that we treat our business as though it is extremely serious because it is this is not a game so the the thing that we're trying to do is we are trying to get them to schedule a session right so the call to action the call to action we're going to make sure that we tell them zero there we go and then what did i have this right here Um, just trying to make sure the space and this is saying 1.28. So I know that this call to action is different because I used to have my call to action be to schedule a strategy session. That's a one-on-one. -on -one. And like I said, that's where I charged 197, but I don't even want to do those anymore because honestly, I just was not, you can't do a whole lot in one hour. If somebody has not get, been given access, you know, to some good pre-work, right? So my next sketch session is for them to actually schedule a session a, a discovery session but in them scheduling a discovery session they're going to automatically get access to my master class training which is a 40 minute training right anyways okay so this is it let's just pretend this was the final thing so we're going to do right here i'm going to see if i can find a question
Okay, yeah, I like that. Or should, or do I like this one? I like that one. So we're gonna drag and drop her in there. Okay. Boo. Okay, that looks good. Y'all be saying, look, I be smiling, honey. I be so proud of my little work, child. I'm such a great designer. <laughs> uh, you notice I didn't change much of this layout. I just kind of just changed the, uh, the size of the font. It's not like I was very creative here. And then went and got my pro, one of my images. You see, they got images all day long. I mean, you can literally type any kind of word and find stuff. Okay? So uh, let's see here. So right here, why, why, um, the next step, I'll bold this out, and I want it to be discovery session, not the strategy session. So it's vision discovery session.com. Now, the cool thing is you can make these a link. So I'm going to make this an actual link by um, highlighting it going up here uh -oh, to this little this little icon right here which stands for link and we're going to enter in the link now let me just let y'all see what it looks like when they go here i got all types of stuff coming up for you guys um in the book profit club i promise you so you see this right here this right here is where they schedule their discovery session okay and they can go they can click on the days they want to do it then when they click continue, it will ask them a series of questions that they have to complete in order to be selected. So that way, when my team sees it, we can determine if this person is qualified. Look, have you had a chance to review the 40-minute mastermind? Yes, I have. No, I have not. I'll register. They can click right here, and it'll open up onto a new screen and give them access to this master class that they can review to see. Oh, honey, we got it right. We got it right out here in these streets. How you doing? So anyway, so let's go ahead and put this link in. Boom. And so now it's an active link, right? So anyways, let's just pretend this was, the, this was it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go here to download. Okay, this is an important feature right here that we're doing. Because many people don't know what to do after this. So we're going to click download. We're going to download it to a PDF. time is it okay. yes honey it's all about that proper funneling proper funneling will make you money okay so we just download now the name of it was not it says Nordic nature right so if you want to change the name of your file before it downloads Right here is where you can go to change the name. So seven reasons why you should write a book. Okay, that's where you change the name of your file. But I'm going to go ahead and open this baby up so we can look at it. This is what it would look like. Ooh, that looks so good. And look, boom, you can click on the link. Now, one thing I'm going to do, though, because I don't like how the link itself is just the same color as everything else. So I'm gonna go here and highlight it and turn it to be like a red so they can see and bold it out. Right? So then when I get, so now when it pops up, it'll look, it'll have that little red link. By the way, throughout the document, I'm also going to add this discovery session link. Um, through the document. So I'm going to go back in and look at different areas because sometimes people don't go through the whole thing and you want to have your call to action right away. So I might even put it in the introduction. Listen, I might put a call to action on every page. I don't care. This is free and I wish somebody would say something about something they didn't have to pay for. I will call to action you to death, right? So you want to go ahead and do that. So anyway, so th this is the ebook. So the ebook looks nice, right? Now, of course, I would need to change the name and all that. But now what we want to do is we want to have a place to host the ebook. There's several different options that you can use because when you then create your series of emails, because when somebody signs up to download the ebook, we then have to send them the ebook. Now, depending upon what kind of email 
um, CRM you use, many of them are not going to allow you to host the ebook on the CRM. Um, sometimes they may allow you to add an attachment, okay, which that could work as well. So it's like an automated message. Does that make sense? So with that, just in case, there's so many different things. You could use Dropbox. You could use Google, Google Docs. You could use Amazon. So one of the things that I've been starting to use is Amazon. Amazon has, it's like a small fee per month that you can pay. Um, and the reason I've been starting to use Amazon is because it allows me to also host my videos. And a lot of these like online school education type tools that you use for your trainings, a lot of them will allow you to play the videos directly from Amazon. Unfortunately, as of right now, you cannot upload a video to like Dropbox and then include the Dropbox link and it'll automatically play. But they will do with Amazon. We never know, there might be other options, but I'm trying to figure out a way so that I'm not just all over the place with stuff. So this is one of the ways that you can actually use it. So as you can see, like I have the Book Profits Club PowerPoints, right, a book writing success, etc., etc. So I'm gonna create a new bucket and this is under the Amazon S3. And I'm telling you, I don't know what I, I pay. It's something really low, like a couple dollars a month, okay? Um, and so anyways, I'm gonna call this bucket Book Profit Club Hook Items, because this is my free giveaway, right? Oh, you can't have no spaces, that's right. Book, book Profit Club Hook Items. Oh, no uppercase. Book profit club hook items. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and click next. Yes, you can host your videos on Amazon and like be able to insert them on other websites. Kind of like how when you upload it to YouTube, the reason why I don't like YouTube is because YouTube for videos, when you upload it, you know, YouTube will play, will then like when the video is done, it'll then redirect them to possibly see other videos sometimes, depending upon how the account is set up. And then you can use Vimeo to upload your videos, but Vimeo will be trying to charge our arm and a leg now. They done went up on pricing. So we're gonna go ahead and click next, next, create bucket. Now you do need to make sure though that when you do these, um, when you share these, they need to be uh, a, like public. So you see how this says not public? We'll need to change that access so that people can access it. But for right now, we'll just do that and we're gonna go ahead and upload that file. Let me upload this file that we just created. Download, remember we call it Nordic. I'm gonna rename it real quick. Okay, go ahead and click open. Go ahead and click next. Upload. So now it's gonna be down here uploading, doing what it does. I always like to just go ahead and upload it and then afterwards it's real easy to change the permissions to it so that people can gain access. And so this would become the link that you would share. Now you wouldn't share the long link, like in your email. So you remember like right here, here's the email. This is what it looks like. It says click here. So I would just create like a button and then I would insert the link. So anyways, let's go back to here. Here it is, right? So it's, it's in here, right? You see it? So we're gonna go ahead and give permissions. I'm sorry, let me go here. And we want Book Profits Club, edit public access. So we're gonna go ahead and give the access to this. Anytime you wanna turn off access or turn on access, you can do so as well. So real simple to do, as you can see. So then we've got this file. Here is the actual link to it. Copy. So now in my email, when, let me make sure I copy the correct letter. Hold on, we gotta make sure the access is set up right. So permissions, do I have access for this access? Everyone. Okay, save. Did it do it? 
float access as a read object. Okay, save. All right, now hopefully it updated it. Okay, let's try. Boom. There we go. So now we are set up. So I'm sorry, I had to go into the actual file itself and make sure I gave it public access. It's another great thing about Amazon. It makes sure, like, do you really want to share this if you ever want to turn off access, whatever. And I have all types of items in here. Training videos, if you ever want to lo load all of your training videos in here, you can do that, okay? All right, so now what we would do is, um, in this email, right, I would then change it, this button, I would just simply change this link to reflect that button. But because the book is not done yet, I don't want to do it. Well, shoot, they ain't getting nothing anyway. So might as well, right? Let me just go ahead and paste it in there for now. And then I'm also going to end up changing this image as well. Um, now there are tools out there that will allow you to create a nice 3D image, but let me show you guys, if you do use Photoshop, let me show you how to create a dope image real quick, okay? If you do know, and, and you don't really have to be that educated on Photoshop to do this, I can show you right now. So I'm gonna type in, what I'm gonna Google is 3D book cover template. Okay, 3D book cover template. And what I'm looking for is this website called Cover Vault, okay? Honestly, I could just have typed in Cover Vault, but, but 3D book cover template, okay? So you see, these are all free 3D images that you can use. Now, I want to get the one that looks like an ebook. I'm going to start using the ebook ones, not the one that look like an actual book, because it's an ebook. So let's see. Well, they got this one. Let's see what this looks like. So you see, that looks like a little ebook. It's got the book behind it. Now, I don't know, e-readers. I don't know. I really don't want to have a, a physical book there either, though. They, oh, this is nice. Mm, but it's cut off. Okay, let's try this one. So we're going to use this one right here, okay? So all I'm going to do is go ahead and click on it. Now you do have to have Photoshop downloaded and you can get Photoshop. You can check it out for free for like 30 days if you want um, for free. And then you have to pay a small monthly fee. Now we, this is the cover. This is the cover. And so we want to turn that into the ebook. So I only need to download this cover into like a JPEG image. So I'm going to download page one. Because remember we downloaded it as a PDF. So that we can make sure all the links were active and stuff like that. So we're only, and we're going to change this to JPEG. It doesn't need to be PNG as a high, you know, it doesn't need to be high quality um, image. It's just a small image. Okay, so we just downloaded this, this um, zip file as well. By the way, all of this stuff on Cover, cover uh, Vault is free. <laughs> what? They is a free child. You got to pay none of that. Okay, so any of y'all ever want 3D images of your books and stuff, you can go right to Cover Vault. Now, you still have to have some kind of understanding of Photoshop. But anyways, let me go ahead and uh, pull up the good Photoshop, darling. So here's the image. Now, I don't want this coffee cup and all this background stuff, so I'm going to remove all of that. Let's move that cup. Get that out the way. We just want this image right here. So I'm gonna crop it. It's got a little shadow, so I like that little shadow. I'm gonna leave that shadow right there. Okay, are y'all still with me? If y'all are still with me, say still with you. I'm, I'm getting ready to be done. Um, okay, so we need to change the cover image, okay? And the way you wanna do that, you'll always see on here, on, on the Photoshop file, you'll see different images. We need to change the cover. And it's really, really easy to do. All you have to do, guys, is double click this image and it'll open up into another screen to edit it. So I'm gonna double click it. You see, it just opened up and this is what is like a PSB, I don't know, editable file. Y'all, I don't even know how I figured this out. I just was in here one day playing around and I saw this. Uh, a lot of this stuff is self-taught and nobody taught me how to do this, uh, but anyways, here you go. So we're going to place now. We're, we're only looking at the cover of 
the image, okay? Not all that other stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and click place embedded. And we wanna down, we wanna embed, we wanna uh, put that cover that we just designed, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. Here's the cover. Remember, we only downloaded the first page of the cover. So boom. And then we just need to resize it so that it actually fits on the screen. Now you notice, when I resized it to here, it's still not all the way fully in there, so you're just gonna do like this. Now, you might have to hold down the shift button, so it definitely do like that, expand, without. So I'm gonna hold the shift button down. And there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and click off of that to close this out and click save and watch. Boom! We in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and click save as. And then I'm going to change this to a PNG because we don't want anything on the background. I'm gonna put this in my downloads folder for now and we're gonna call this six reasons cover. Okay, click save. That's all that Photoshop you gotta do. You ain't gotta touch nothing else. That was that quick, right? Now, what we're gonna do, and I'll have a separate training for you guys in Book Profits Club on how to use different images on Cover Vault to make your 3D images, and it's free. Now, there is another website that will allow you to make 3D images as well that has a monthly fee. Um, but, you know, if you do find that you're gonna be using a lot of Photoshop, uh, then it may be worth it because Cover Vault is free. So, anyway, so we're gonna go back to this email, and we don't want this little ugly looking image right here no more, right? So we're gonna remove this. And I'm gonna insert a new image, because we got fancy on them, right? And I'm gonna make sure I drag it underneath this button. Ooh, it ain't acting right. Hold on. Insert, there we go. You gotta tell it sometimes, you gotta talk to it. So anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and add a new folder. I need to create a new folder because this is just getting out of control. I'm gonna call this a Book Profits Club. Okay, click in there, add new image. And we're gonna add that new image we just created, the Six Reasons cover. Right? We got the tablet looking stuff, you know what I'm saying? We're looking real official. Ooh, look at that. That looks so much better. <laughs> it made this one look real janky, so I'm gonna fix that too. But look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Fancy. Uh, and then we're gonna also make this a um, clickable link. This is active campaign that we're using. So let me go back to this link so we can see the document. Paste it in there. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and save it and exit out. Now, I actually have to go through and edit this entire series of emails because it's got the wrong ebook, um, the wrong link on many of the series. That's a whole nother training in its own, as you can see. So when somebody goes into my email um, and they, this is for when somebody goes to my masterclass, this is where they go. And so I still give them access to these eBooks. And then if they don't open up the email, it goes here and it sends them an email talking about like, yo, I noticed you didn't open my email, what's good? Then if they still don't open it, it sends a text message like, um, you still ain't open my email and it's another email. Oh look, it updated it automatically for me though. It did on this one at least, let's see. Yeah, this one I need to update the link. Let's see. This one it updated too. So very good, very good, very good. I think it's because I have the same exact email so I might need to update that as well because I don't want it to be the same, I need to have a new, new text. Uh, but anyway, so I have to update that so that it makes sense uh, with the new link and all those good things. And then I'm gonna send out an email to everybody on the list uh, to let them know, hey, here's the new ebook, y'all can download it. So anyways, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this little training. Um, I know you guys were here for a very long time. Um, and I know it was extensive, but I wanted to, if I was going to be working on it, you know, I like to train y'all on stuff that I'm already doing. Uh, so I figured I would invite you guys to be a part of this. Guys, uh, if, if at any time you want to be able to write your own book, if you're ready to write your own book and, and um, hold on, show all windows. There we go. I uh, just want to make sure I pulled it. If you want to learn how to write your own book or write the right book, I meet a lot of authors who out here uh, have books and ain't making no money because they're not, you know, they, they did not write the right book or they don't know how to properly market their book or get their book to perform. We have several different options. The first thing I want you guys to do is make sure that you text this number right here. Text 484848. That's the phone number. And you want to put, get the bag, get the bag. Okay, that's what you want to put right there. Get the bag. When you send that, huh? there we go. Let's make sure you can see it. Get the bag to 4848. Make sure you do not put any spaces in that text message because if you do, it won't work, all right? Um, the second thing is we are going to be doing a new book camp that's coming up on July the 20... I know the 26th is one of the days, but I want to make sure because it's a Friday, Saturday, 24th, 25th, and 26th, Okay. Later today, I will be doing a live broadcast and I'm going to contact everybody who has texted this number. If you guys want to know more about the book camp coming up, it is going to be huge. For those of you who were in the first two book camps, this one is going to be totally different. We're going to have weeks of pre-training, pre-work to get you guys prepared. My mission is, and, and honestly, the second one we did, we had more people complete their books. In fact, we've got t-shirts and everything. I'm going to be rocking the brand new t-shirt that everybody's going to receive that completed the 80%. So we're going to be mailing those out. We got the t-shirts printed. So we're ready to rock and roll and get you guys your t-shirts. Um, we've got a lot that are coming. You're getting a certificate. We're getting certificates printed out. Um, I'm excited about the certificates because they are super fly and fabulous. We've got... Um, some additional, uh, you're gonna get uh, additional access to Book Profits Club. It's just a lot. For those of you who need help with writing the right book, and ironically, many people who've already taken the program are re-enrolling again. They're re-enrolling again. Now, for those of you who are like, well, Taria, I really don't wanna do that. Like, I want somebody to hold my hand through the entire process. I want you guys to pretty much do it all for me. We do have a program for that as well. But in order to qualify for either one, I would highly recommend going to a bookin30days.com. When people message me on social media and say, I'm ready to write a book, guess where I send them? A bookin30days.com. When I get on TV or get on blogs or podcasts and they say, how can we contact you? Guess what I send them? A bookin30days.com. When somebody says, hey, how should somebody reach out to you if they're interested in working with you? A book. In 30days.com. No, I do not be sending them to that. Don't hit me in the DMs no more. It does go down in the DM. But if you hit me in the DMs, guess what I'm going to send you? A book in 30days.com. If you are my bestest of best friends and you want to write a book, guess what I'm going to send you? A book in 30days.com. If you are my boss, I ain't had a boss in years, but just in the case, this just, just so that you understand, if I had a boss that reached out to me, an old boss and said, Tariah, look, I'm ready to write a book. How do I write a book? A book in 30days.com. If you have my personal phone number and you text me and say, I'm ready to write a book. How do I write a book? A book in 30days.com. That is how you qualify yourself. Follow instructions. It's real simple. Now, with that stated, I hope all of my speakers and coaches caught something. I hope you caught a couple of things. Number one, make it easy for yourself. The first thing that you need to have is something that everybody can go to, but it's one page and it's very simple and it's very easy to do, right? And then the second thing is now when they join the list, because as soon as you go to a book in 30 days.com and register, you're going to get access to the masterclass. You're going to get access to the ebook. You're going to get access to the training, the emails, etc., etc. Then if you schedule a discovery session with me, and if you're qualified, we will have a one-on-one -on -one call in the discovery session. You'll also start, you'll be removed from that initial set of emails. And then you'll be added to a new set of emails where you're going to get some additional details and testimonials. So I make it easy for myself and my goal is to teach you guys how to make it easy for you. I also plan on making sure that all of my Book Profits Club members get access to some of my coaches, okay? Uh, listen, y'all know I don't play. I have several coaches, okay? And with that, I want to make sure that you guys get all the stuff that we're doing too. So the bells and whistles. So make sure you go ahead and register by, or text me. You know, you can text me. 
Um, you want to be notified when we're going to be opening up the book camp boot camp, but also it's very easy. If you have not sent the text message, you need to do that. But number one is go to a book in 30 days.com. That is going to get you guys into the information. You're going to, you're going to get the emails. You're going to get the text messages. You'll be notified when we talk about the book camp. And that will be today. Cause I've had a lot of people like, cause we were supposed to do it Monday. Listen, 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 listen. I wasn't able to do it but I am going to announce it today. The first 20 people are gonna get an incredible $1,500 scholarship to come to this event, so you do not wanna miss out, okay? All right, y'all, I'ma holla at y'all later. Let me pull up my little thing.